Let me try to get that pee off of there. Okay, well today is Tuesday and we are here at the shop. <laughs> but I'm doing something a little bit different this week. Normally on Tuesdays, I show up at the shop, I start pulling items, I start photographing for eBay. But this week, I'm not going to be running any eBay auctions. I decided that this week something has got to give because um, it's just been too crazy. Um, Andrew is still not feeling 100%. Um, Jess was supposed to come back to work this week. She's been away for two weeks um, and she helps with Laurel and the other two kids during the week. Um, she helps watch them um, so that we can you know, run around and um, keep the business going. Um, but she got back from Louisiana with Jesse and they were feeling under the weather. So they are not able to help us this week. Um, so they are both off this week. So as a result, <laughs> We're not, we don't have any help with childcare this week. And um, I had to, I had to let one of the plates fall. And I decided the plate that was going to fall was going to be the eBay plate. So there will be no eBay auctions running this week. Um, now when I announced that I was going to be doing a whatnot sale, a lot of you were confused. You thought that I was letting eBay go all together. That's not the case. I'm still going to be listing on eBay. I'm still going to be running eBay auctions. This week is just the exception where I'm not going to be running eBay auctions because of everything that we have going on. Because of sickness, because of the lack of childcare, um, because of everything else we have going on in our lives. It's just too crazy and I have to be able to let something slide and that's going to be the ebay auctions this week so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to select more items for our whatnot sale on january 8th at 7 p.m eastern this is the year 2023 in case you were watching this a year from now <laughs> um i'm going to select more items we're going to bulk up the whatnot sale um i did do some shopping i think it was last week we went to goodwill and everything we bought at the goodwill and that video we are going to be selling in the whatnot sale um and for those of you who are not familiar with whatnot for those of you who missed that video um whatnot is a new selling platform it's not like terribly new but it is a selling platform that is a live format. Um, so it's a live selling format. So you've probably seen these, these live YouTube sales um, where people go on and they sell stuff live. Whatnot is similar to that. Um, you do live sales, you go on, you show items, you sell them live, um, and it's like an auction format. So it's like that. Um, but I think you can also uh, preload stuff. So you can like preload, um, you could do pre-bids, you can do buy it nows, it's really neat. And I have bought on there before. I've been a customer um, on Whatnot. I have never held a sale on there. So it's going to be my first sale on January 8th. Um, and I'm going to include a link down in the description for my first sale. Um, now, if you do sign up to become a buyer on Whatnot, a first-time buyer, um, I will receive a commission for that, and that commission goes to supporting my channel um, at no expense to you. So I do support, I, I do appreciate your support. We're going to go into the shop now, and we're going to start picking some more items for Whatnot. Um, now, a lot of you um, who, who gave your support in the comments, um, those of you who have sold on whatnot suggested that I pick smaller items um, that did not have a lot of shipping cost associated with them. I think that's a great idea. Um, so let's go shop, <laughs> shop the shop, I guess. Let's go shop the shop. Here we go. Okay. So step one today is going to be um, locating the items that I purchased at Goodwill uh, when we shopped for our whatnot sale. So I'm um, trying to figure out where I can put those items once I locate them. Um, you know, I feel like well, first of all, the key balls are in here. Probably going to have to get the tags off of these. Now I paid $14.99 for these. I'm not sure how I'm going to start the bidding on these things. I feel like <laughs> Andrew's 
like, you're not going to start the bidding at $4, are you? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I guess I'll decide. I'll decide during the sale. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Figure it out as we go along. Um, if we pick items that we don't have much into, I don't see anything wrong with starting the bidding low. Passing along that that savings, you know. Now, this key bowl was $9.99. The other thing I have to decide is whether or not I want to, um, to sell these as a pair or separately. Um, on eBay, they sell better as a pair. But whatnot is not eBay. It's a completely different animal. Look at this. Okay. I'm going to go in the back and try to um, unload a cart so that I can load my whatnot sale onto a cart. Actually, I have a cart over here that I can use. And for now, I'm just going to unload this cart onto this table. This is my <laughs> this is my booth table, but I don't work for now. Ay, ay, ay. Actually, I've sold quite a few things out of my booth this week. So next project here at the shop is to load the booth again. It's like a never ending cycle. It's like, okay, do, do the eBay, do the whatnot, do the booth. It's never ending. These items are actually listed as buy it now. Okay, this cart is <laughs> mostly cleared off. We're gonna wheel this over. Uh, this piece of furniture our friend John brought over the other day, and I think this is gonna go into our booth. I think this could work. I don't know though. Maybe it needs to be painted. Oh, it doesn't need to be painted. Just rip off that masking tape. But I thought the little cupcakes could work. Although, we cur we currently have this issue where like the cubbies um, in our booth are too small for things and that may perpetuate the problem. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can even get this over here. We're kind of backed up in the processing area. Shelby hasn't been in, I think, in a week and a half, but um, she texted Andrew that she's going to be coming in this week, so hopefully we can get this all caught up. Hopefully. Okay, so that's a start. <laughs> Here are a few things that we bought at the Goodwill in that video, and if I recall, we bought a laundry basket, so I think that the rest of those items are in this laundry basket right here. I'm gonna bring this over to the sink. Uh, we're gonna process these real quick. Uh, get the tags off of all of this. Get them up on the cart. And then we'll start shopping the shop. So I just peel off this sticker and it's kind of funny because I recognize, just from that, I recognize that this is a sticker from Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. So I'm a little bit curious what it was priced at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel the Goodwill sticker off. We're gonna find out what it was priced at at the antique mall because we all have to know. Looks like they wanted nine dollars for it at the antique mall. And two dollars two ninety-nine for it at Goodwill. Alright, well all those stickers came off real easy because the bottom is unglazed. This lamp over here has given me a little bit of trouble. I don't want to get it wet because it has a lot, you know cords and wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to <laughs> this wet paper towel on it and let it soak for a moment and then it'll sh it should just slide right off um, while I get the rest oh hey look I was looking for that coffee it's pretty gross that's the coffee I was <laughs> that's the coffee I strapped in in the video <laughs> oh boy Mother, it's a green. I just think these are the cutest thing. You know, this cookie jar is just so cool. <laughs> this was like one of the last things I scooped up in that video. Cookies, and I think it's Lefton on the bottom. Super cool. I just love that it looks like a crate. Um, I did get the sticker off of the lamp. Um, 
the Basset Hound is still in here, but that's a donation from the Basset Hound Rescue. Seat goes in the jar of here. Okay, I've processed everything on the cart with the exception of the Basset Hound, which is still there in the paper. Um, I'm putting together a collection of bass and hounds uh, for the next time that Andrew sees Donna, which he usually sees her every so often because they're in the same metal detecting circles. So I put together a collection and then every time he sees her, he brings the bass and hounds to her and then she auctions them off for the rescues. So it works out nicely. Um, so we'll leave him in the, the basket. Now I have to pick out some more items for the whatnot sale. I wanna pick out some items um, that are going to be featured in the sale and also some buy it now items that I can put up in the shop. I wanna test out that feature as well. Um, just some little knickknacks and whatnot. So, um, no pun intended. Maybe there's like a little pun intended. Um, okay, so I'm looking at what we have on the cart here and I feel like we have a little bit of a theme going and I kinda of wanna continue on with that theme. Do you see a theme? I see a theme. I feel like there's a kind of a springtime theme, maybe. Am I reaching? I don't feel like I'm reaching. I feel like all of these little figurines kind of like, they make me think spring. And then we have the yellow glass over here. I feel like we can really pull together a springtime theme and maybe make it feel a little bit like spring because it's dreary and gross miserable outside so maybe we can find some floral things yellow cheerful colors I don't know I feel like it needs a theme so um, I'm gonna go through what we have processed already um, before I dig into what we don't have processed because I'd rather not it's a lot um, so what do we have on the table that's the question <laughs> what do we have on the table I'm going to clamp this paper and then we'll get into it. Ha! It may not be on the table. <laughs> but it's in close proximity to the table. Um, jewelry! We've got a lot of jewelry that's been sitting around since Angela left. Um, because I'm just not into listing jewelry. It freaks me out. Um, so it just sits. It just sits. Lots of it. Look. Here's some more. Lots of jewelry. Uh, but this over here specifically... This tray. This makes me think of springtime. So maybe we can list a few of these. Well, not list them, but um, include them in the whatnot sale. A few flowers. Hmm. I don't know. I know Cat does a lot of. Um, a lot of jewelry on whatnot. It's just an earring. Oh, there's two of them though. <laughs> this must be kind of cute. Maybe we'll do earrings with a brooch. And then another brooch. Sound good? Okay. The right boots. I could never decide if these this was a vase or a planter, but I really don't think it matters. I, well, I guess a planter is supposed to have drainage, and these technically don't have drainage. Let me try to get that pee off of there. <laughs> I'm going to try to get the pee off there. <laughs> Let me see if I have a... Oh, I do have... There's a magic eraser in the sink. I'll try to get the pee off there. Good well in their pee. I'm gonna turn off the camera and try to make this happen. Just like that. Magic. Keep right off. Okay. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put this down here. We'll start filling up the second shelf. Look down here. We've got duckies. Oh my gosh, I remember when we got these. We had like, I think there was like 12 of them. And now we're kind of getting down, down to it a few other ones um actually you know we could list these um odds and ends as 
this, oh my gosh, this, this is driving me nuts for as long as I've had it. Because I feel, I feel like this one is something special. <laughs> and the reason I've held on to it for so long is because I've never been able to identify the maker. Let's see if I can get it in to focus. There we go. I feel like this one is something special. And it's marked on the back and on the bottom. Easter Bunny. Number 8, 2015. And I just have a feeling about it. If you know anything, let me know in the comments because I've obsessed over this since I bought it. I just, I have a feeling. A feeling about this. And it'll stay here until I figure it out. <laughs> I feel like my mother is responsible for this. And I'm kind of pleased by it. <laughs> if you're watching this, thank you, Mother. This is really nice. I'm always stepping over stuff when I come back here. Um, and I actually came back here looking for some springtime stuff because I do store it back here. Um, along with all of my holiday stuff. See, look, here's, here's some springtime Annalise. I feel like those are a little bit big for whatnot, though. A lot of you in the comments who have sold on whatnot um, have told me, keep it small. Best to keep it small. I guess people are usually freaked out um, by um, high shipping costs. So it's best to keep it small. Unless you have something like really magnificent. And then the shipping costs aren't really a big deal. But I'm going to keep it small for my first sale. Try not to freak anybody out. Got a little bit more Christmas down here. Some Thanksgiving that I never got into. Weird pumpkin head. <laughs> and Halloween. Lots and lots of Halloween. Okay. Not really seeing anything in the way of spring. You can see I brought most of my swing glass home. Just a few left. Here are some flowers. Uh, those are chipped up though. Uh, you know what? I think this was my... The tray put together of chipped stuff. It might be. I think it is. I think I put everything on this tray. It's like no good. I was looking for this lid everywhere and then it magically reappeared. Okay, well, another place I'm going to check is back here. Now, these are our listed shelves. However, not everything on these shelves are listed. So a lot of the times I'll photograph the stuff with the intention of listing it, and then I'll do the listings that night, and I won't get everything listed, and I'll move on. So not everything gets listed, and I'll move it to the shelf anyway, and it'll just get stuck here. Um, another, another case is um, it doesn't get paid for, it gets canceled, and then it gets stuck on the shelf. Um, so there are things on this shelf that are not listed. Um, so I'm gonna go through these shelves real quick, see if I can identify anything just right off the bat, like, hey, this is not, this is not listed, and um, we can include that in the whatnot sale. Um, I mean, I see a few things. <laughs> I see a few things. Um, this little guy. I think this was one of those not paid for things. Is that spring? <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> that was just weird. That could be like a soap dish. Spring timey. Grab that. This as well. I know that one's not listed. Florals. <laughs> the strawberries are nice. I should have brought the card back here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of hands. I think I'm just gonna leave everything on the shelf right here. And then when I wheel the cart back, Grab it. Do you want to go on whatnot? Your sure do. I mean, it's not really spring like, but I feel like if Crazy Lamp Lady is going to have a sale and whatnot, there needs to be an owl. An owl, a pair of lamps. Come on. 
I'm also going to throw this Pyrex bolt on there. Um, this one does have um, some little bit of damage on that. I don't actually see a price on that. I don't know where the price but It came right out of the Goodwill bag. This one back here is Lapide. Really nice uh, kind of mid-century modern style. So maybe we'll stick those in there. I just want to make sure I have enough. I mean, <laughs> the sale has over 600 people bookmarked. Um, and I'm looking at my cart and I'm like, okay, 600 people have this bookmarked. And I have like 25 items in the cart. I'm trying to do the math. I'm not very good at math. But I don't think this is enough stuff. I want to make sure that I have a, a fair amount of things. And I now I have... 27 things. Maybe this is enough, but probably not. <laughs> okay, let's see what goodies we have back here. <laughs> I've had stuff like hanging out on this cart that I'm like, yeah, I don't want to list it. But I think that it would be well suited for our sale. I wouldn't have sucked if I dropped that. Um, <laughs> we'll put that over here. We kind of strayed from the springtime theme because I realized I don't have very many spring things. So we're going off in a different direction, but we were we were on a good path there for a while, and then and then I was like, okay, okay, let's add some blue. <laughs> Here are a few owls. I love this planter so much. I got this one at Burning Bridge. I filmed the video. Um, it was at a point where I had the microphone that wasn't acting up. I was with Dagny actually. Um, I filmed two videos with her that day never posted them because i had the faulty microphone um and so i robbed you all of that moment with dagny but uh there, there is the cute cute planter all right i feel like i'm getting ahead of myself i need to see what i can do with all of this see if i can um get this preloaded whatever that means all right <laughs> i called andrew i'm like andrew can't figure out how to do this. Um, I did one last thing for this yellow duck, but I can't figure out how to attach the listings to my show for a pre-bed. I'm having a little bit of a hard time figuring out. He's like, I can't walk you through it. I've got the sleeping baby on me. So I'm like, well, what do I do? <laughs> um, he's like, well, just take the photos and we can do it when you get home. So essentially, it's the same thing I normally do. I'm just taking photos. Um, and then I'm going home and I'm doing it. So I'm going to take all of the photos on my phone. And then I'm going to go home. And he's going to walk me through the process later of uploading the photos into my show. And offering the items that way. Um, and then later this week... I'll probably add more items for, I, I mean, I don't know how this works. I'm just like, I'm walking myself through it and figuring it out as I go, which is the way you got to do this when you're like <laughs> diving into something new. Um, and I'll figure it out and the next one will be easier. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to photograph these things, get through it. I give you a time lapse, but I'm like at 38% battery power on my camera and I don't want to run it all the way into the ground. So um, I'm gonna photograph these things. I've gotta pick Juliet from school at 2.30, which is about an hour from now. And then I gotta get Ashton at 4.30 from basketball. So wish me luck. Here we go. So I got all of these um, figurines photographed um, and I started pulling off all the glass. I don't think I showed you guys these butterflies. I'm kind of grouping it together as I photograph it. Um, I did pull this off of my top shelf. I know I said I was kind of limiting um, what I was selling on my first sale, but um, this is a higher quality piece of glass that I'm just going to throw in there. We're going to see what it does um, because I bought this in a lot at auction and um, the other pieces of glass have sold really, really well. So at this point, I've got really nothing into it and uh, we're going to see how it does. Um, here's a paperweight sitting on my shelves. We're gonna include that and the whatnot. These are the net butterfly dishes. Um, those are better suited for the white box. And then over here, I did show you the yellow 
This was from the Goodwill video. Um, down here we do have that. Um, I did pick that up. The reason this hasn't been listed is because it has this schmutz in the bottom and I tried soaking it. I tried everything I could to get it out of the bottom and I think I'm just going to sell it. <laughs> sell it with the schmutz in the bottom and just let everybody know. I guess I could try sticking a brush and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just try to get a brush down in there. In the last resort. It worked! For the most part. There's still a little schmutz down there but I think that's just uh, rust or something. It's clean. <laughs> All right, so we will stick that in there. All right, well, I have to go pick up Juliet um, any minute now, but I added a few more smalls off the shelf. And I think I'm going to call it quits. These things have been hanging around for quite a while. I don't even know what that says on the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But I really love that dish. I love the sunflower on it. Um, and this guy, and I'm not sure if this is a whole... Well, there you go. <laughs> Hold Howard. Alright, it's a little Hold Howard creamer. Um, some blue opaline. This guy we got in Ohio. There's something in there. It's like a watered up napkin. Um, we got this in Ohio. It had a stopper when we got it, but it wasn't the right stopper. So I was just like, you know what? It, re it was really, like, really small and it just... It didn't do it justice, so I was like, that's just not right. We're not going to insult the bottle by keeping the stopper with it. And I got rid of it. Um, so, <laughs> beautiful bottle. Um, we've got these pieces here. And I have a confession to make that when I was, I was pulling the art pottery out of the thing, and I smashed them together, and I broke this guy. And I cursed myself thoroughly because I really liked this one. <sighs> yeah, what a bummer. I can't believe I did that. It's just the way my week's been going, you know? Like, hey, let's smash a bottle. Yep, I did that. So, I'm not going to include that one in the whatnot sale. I know a lot of you are like, oh, it's not a big deal. But it is a big deal to me because I don't want to include something that's smashed and broken in my first sale i don't that's not the first the first sale i want to have i don't want to like have broken stuff in my sale so we're not going to include that um everything else is photographed it's weighed so i have a weight um, i just took one photo of the items um unless for instance there was one i know i just got done saying i don't want to have anything chipped there was one chipped figurine in the bunch um and it was the angel where is she this one and i was just so in love with her um but she has a chipped petal so that that was it so she got two photos just so i could include that um but yeah that was that was it so everything down here except for the items that i'm going to be doing buy it now like this little ducky um i don't think i showed you that that one's actually limoges um that piece i wasn't decided on um, but yeah, so, oh, and the jewelry, I didn't photograph the jewelry yet, because I don't like photographing the jewelry in the big boxes, um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at, what time is it, I gotta get out of here, gotta go pick up Juliet, so. I hope you all are able to tune in to our whatnot sale. You don't have to buy anything, you could just tune in, you could chat, you could hang out, just be there. <laughs> but um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good. And I will reiterate what I said at the beginning of the video. I am not leaving eBay. I'm going to continue to list on eBay. Um, I got a lot of comments that were like, you're quitting eBay. I never said I was quitting eBay. I'm not quitting eBay. <laughs> I think it's important to diversify and like not have all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak. So um, I'm just trying out something new there's nothing wrong with that um and that's that's it so um all right i'm gonna get out of here and i'll see all you guys tomorrow possibly at the goodwill <laughs> all right i'll see you then i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you